Hi, this is Matt Tebow, and I'm just going to give you a very quick overview of how I use Zotero in managing citations. Uh, Zotero is a great free program with uh, a standalone version, and you can see here, well, I've, these are the high points I'm going to take you through quickly. Uh, it manages references, it lets you save PDFs. Uh, if you're in a program where you've got access to these scholarly databases and journals uh, that tend to cost a lot of money, if you're looking at a PDF, you may as well uh, keep a copy of it. And it allows you to output references, um, which you can use when you're writing papers. All your citations can be easily managed. Um, and also just email, blog posts, etc. anytime you want to share something with someone. And of course, the big caveat, it will not always be correct it being the program. The citations won't always be uh, exactly correct. You have to check the citations. You can't trust citation software at all. But that said, it's phenomenally powerful and helpful. And I'll give you a quick overview of how I use it. If I come to any web page and I have my plugin, you can see I'm seeing a folder here. If I come to a newspaper article, I see a newspaper icon over here come to uh, WorldCat, which is a great place to uh, look up books and grab citations. You can see a little scholarly uh, cap here, mortarboard, and a tassel, and that's because this is a dissertation, my dissertation. Anytime I'm in any of these places, I can click this. So whenever I'm reading something, if I go, oh, I want to cite this, I can click it, and it will actually save the article and the reference for me to look at later. If I come to uh, MEJ, the current issue, I go to the table of contents, click the folder, up comes a list of everything, all the things that are in here. Now, I want to get my friend David Hebert's new piece on militarism. I'll click OK. I look down here, and it's going to give me a little process window. It's saving it to my library right now. It's got the reference. Now it has the PDF, and it's generating what it calls a snapshot. Let's go over to Zotero and see. There it is, another perspective. Click the PDF. I now have that PDF to, ha to read at my leisure and into the future. And if I want, I can just do sh uh, keyboard control stroke. I've copied that citation, and now I've put it in. So a moment after grabbing it, I'm already outputting an APA format citation with copy and paste into a document. So when I'm making a blog post and I want to cite something, I can easily grab a reference that way. Uh, with Zotero, I find, here's uh, the Senior Researcher Award for our uh, friend Peter Webster, but you can use uh, highlighting and any other PDF markup stuff that you want within the PDF that you have. So I've been able to highlight that and get it ready to go. I can, uh, the same way, I can just copy and paste. I'd put it after Haber. There's Webster, and here's my Senior Researcher Award piece. Now let me show you how I use it in Microsoft Word, because this is the other way that I use it frequently. Um, I've typed up a few things about a grammar guide, a rule book for arguments, and a book about research. Uh, but these don't have citations yet, and I want to give you the citations. So here's what I'm going to do. Um, you might need a short guide. I'm going to use a keyboard shortcut. Zotero has a few of them. You can see here in uh, Mac, Add Citation is Control Option A. Um, now I here, the grammar, I want to get a uh, style. Uh, it's Williams, the basics of clarity and grace. And so when I type style, I'm seeing a list down here, and there's the book I want. I click it. Now it's got it. And there I go. It's been input. Weston has a wonderfully short book, or wonderful, let's change that, short book. There's my rule book of arguments. Now, you can see if I click OK right now, it's going to have Weston, and then the citation will include the name. I don't want that. I want to do what's called suppressing the author. If I click the citation, a window pops up. I click Suppress Author, and away it goes. Um, Booth, right here. There I go. If I wanted to, I could also add a page number or page numbers. I'm going to. I'm gonna. I think it's page 54 that has this nice um, diagram of uh, the research process. I'll click that. Now you can see 
Booth, Colum, and Williams, 2008, page 54. All compliant with APA style, affordable book. Um, now when I'm done, any kind of paper like that, I just wanna write references, because that's not enough to include a citation in text without also having the references. And Zotero, that's add bibliography, and boom, here they are. Booth, Weston, Williams. We want to have these be hanging indent, so I can come in and do that. There's our citation section. So without too much work, I now have input three nice references. I've put them in. I've just indicated what I wanted and where I wanted it in the text, and then I insert a bibliography at the end. Now, if I look down here, as I said at the beginning, it will not always be correct. The program will not always be correct. You must check. And if I check here, there's a couple of things I'm seeing right away. In my database, under addition, it just says third, it says volume fourth, volume third. Those are incorrect. Additionally, my booth citation says Chicago, but it doesn't have the state in a two-letter abbreviation like APA wants. So before I'm done anything, I can do one of two things. I can fix my citations right here, or I could come back to Zotero, and I could click under uh, Booth. There's my book. Here's my Chicago, and I can just go Chicago, comma, IL, and fix it into the future, kind of future-proof it. Um, but you can see right away um, that when I want to do citations, when I want to cite things, I've got this very powerful program that I use. It keeps track of all my PDFs and web pages and newspaper articles that I look at. It makes it easy to find them, easy to insert them, easy to use them. So when you're doing a blog post or a discussion post or writing an academic paper, a uh, software like this can really come in handy, and I hope you'll consider it, uh, especially, as I mentioned, Zotero, which uh, I find to be very robust and uh, absolutely free. Take care.